Hi everyone, it's Vicky here with lots of cards today where I will be working with stencils. Alta New has came up with six new designs of stencils and I'm going to browse through them really quickly. There is this one with the alphabet, the trail is one which I find that although it looks very boring, it's the most um, versatile one. There is this beautiful one with the feathers which I'm going to work with today. And then there is this one that helps you create mountains as well as a line of trees. So you can combine the two at the top and you can then add the trees at the bottom to create a little scene. Now this looks a little bit wonky, however this is made to create clouds and I will be working with this one today so you can see how it works. And then finally if you love geometric shapes then this is a stencil perfect for you. Today I'm going to play with four out of these six stencils so you can see some ideas on how you can play with them. For all the cards I will do blending to create uh, backgrounds with the stencils and for all my cards I will be playing with uh, Speckle Text which is the new color by Tim Holtz. So now here I am securing on top of a white panel the stencil with the alphabet and I'm also going to make sure that I cover up the, the letters H and I. Just because these letters are next to each other on the alphabet make it so convenient to create a hello card, a hi card. For every shade of blue I'm using the same brush and this is the new one by Alta New. And I always like to clean it up just by brushing it over a clean paper towel. So now I'm going to go all over the stencil. Using this brush makes it super easy to cover up big areas, plus it is super soft so it doesn't go underneath the stencil. Now I am lifting the stencil, I'm going to clean it up really quickly just to make sure that I don't have any of that ink left over on top of my stencil. I'm going to peel off the tape from the letters H and I. Now I'm going to put the stencil back in place and this time I'm going to go over the letters H and I with a different color so they are easy to read. Now of course you need to mask off any areas that you might make a boo-boo since this is such a small area you want to cover up. For the letters H and I you need a contrasting color and that's why I decided to go with uh, marmalade, spiced marmalade and that's Distress Oxide ink again. Now the fun part about this technique is that you end up having a background with all that alphabet but at the same time you end up having a sentiment as well. So you can see my high card here. I like how modern it looks and really graphic and uh, I'm going to embellish it a little bit more to take it a step further but if you want a clean and simple look I think it looks just fine as it is. Now I want to add a very tiny embellishment on my card, that's why I'm going to use the Bitty Bloom 3D die set. This creates a little uh, rose along with uh, leaves that you can use if you want to. I decided to go with yellows and um, uh, oranges for the flower. This is a die that creates a layered flower so you can start from lighter to darker and I will be using this um, cardstock for the leaves, the seashore collection, just because I think it matches perfectly with my background, with the speckled deck on the background. So I am going with the second lightest color from this set and uh, from the summer afternoon gradient cardstock set I'm going to go with the three first colors. As you can see I like to store them in these um, pouches and I keep all the scraps since uh, I can uh, cut out of them again and again little pieces. Now here I am putting my little flower together, all the layers one on top of the other and you can follow the diagram on the packaging. I did create a couple of them but I decided to use just one and I did cut out a couple of leaves so that I can embellish the flower a little bit more. Now, just because I want to keep this clean and simple, that's why I didn't add too many embellishments on top. So I'm just going to play a little bit this side of the placement and I'm going to stick them down. And now this is my card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to use again speckled tags and I'm going to go all around the edges. And that's because my panel is slightly smaller than my card base and I want to have a border all around that matches the color of the letters. 
I used foam tape at the back of my panel. I'm going to stick this one on top of my card base and you can see here how that a little border shows and it matches perfectly with the letters. Now if you want you can add a secondary sentiment or leave it as it is. I did use the sentiment strips too to create a little uh, sentiment on this uh, black cardstock and I white embossed that on top. And you can see here a close-up photos on the first card for today. For my second card I will be playing with a featherly stencil. This is just stunning. I think with uh, such a beautiful stencil all you have to do is uh, a little bit of blending. Just choose your favorite colors and you have a lovely background where you can just stick a sentiment. This is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm using again my new blending tool by Altenew and you will see that I will use the same blending tool for all three shades of blue. So I'm starting with a speckled egg, then I will move on to peacock feathers and I will end up with a darker shade which is chipped sapphire. Notice that as I'm switching from one color to another I'm just uh, cleaning up my brush on paper towel. Now I wasn't very careful here and I lifted the stencil just a little bit. I didn't have a tape at the back at this uh, area also. So you will see that at the end it's not going to be super clear underneath but that's not a problem. You don't really need to do another panel. This is perfectly usable. And uh, I'm just cover going to cover up the poop that I have there with a sentiment on top. So now I'm going to peel off the stencil and you can see the beautiful design and how and probably you can tell where I don't have a very clear stenciled area where those two darker shades of blue meet. For my sentiment I'm stamping for you and this comes from the Mega Label Love stamp set. This is from the latest collection by Alte New and I love the look. They are nice, big and bold and they are perfect for busy backgrounds. Now I have some foam tape at the back and I'm going to pop it where I didn't do a good job on stenciling so everything is nicely covered up. I'm going to stick this panel on my card base which is navy blue. So another shade of blue. I'm going for a monochromatic card here. And finally I'm going to embellish my card with a few gems and I picked three different colors. I'm going to stick them on the card following the gradient of uh, the blending. So from lighter all the way to darker gems. And you can see here some close-up photos. For my next card I'm going to use a trellis stencil again with the same brush. I always use the same one for all shades of blue and I just clean it up on my kitchen roll. Now I'm starting with speckled egg. I'm going to go all the way from one side towards the other without reaching out the other side. So I will kind of uh, blend it out to white. And you can see the result. You can leave it as it is or mix in another color. And I think that speckled egg along with iced spruce make a beautiful combination. So I'm going to darken up the edge just a little bit. And you can see the finished result. A real subtle, great for a background. And I think that on top of a trellis background it's perfect to go with flowers. So here I'm using the Build the Flower Primrose and um, this is a new stamp set by Alte New. And I am stamping here the three flower designs as well as the two leaves. And these are the outlines from the stamp set. You can color them with your favorite coloring mediums or you can stamp the layers that are also included in the stamp set. I used the new mixed media inks to stamp all the three layers as you can see here and I'm going to work on the leaves. For the leaves instead of going with greens I decided to go with uh, Distress Oxide inks and uh, I am going to use the exact two colors that I used for the background. So the first layer is done with speckled egg while the second layer is iced spruce for a darker shade. I did stick down the three flowers and be, since I have my misty here and before I stick down the leaves I'm going to add the sentiment. For that I went with um, You Are Amazing and this comes from the same stamp set as the flowers and the leaves. 
I'm stamping my sentiment with jet black ink from the mixed media collection by Altenew and you will see that it gives a really vibrant look. I absolutely love the look and I think it's perfect for stamping sentiments but you need to remember that this is pigment ink which means that it's going to take a few minutes to dry. Make sure that you don't touch it otherwise you will make a boo-boo and you will see that in the next card I am going to do that but there is always a way to cover up mistakes. Now I am sticking down my leaves and uh, I always like to somehow make the sentiment look as if it is nested with the focal points. That's why I first stamp the sentiment so that I can add the leaves close to it. And uh, I like how the leaves match perfectly with the background. Now I'm going to stick this panel on top of my card base. You can add some gems if you like. I decided to go with a Nuvo drops at the center of the flowers just to add a touch of uh, ivory there and you can see here are some close-up photos on the third card for today and let's move on to the last card for today where I will be playing with the cloud scene stencil now I like this design because it's very unique there are other cloud stencils in the market but they are more rounded and I think that this looks more natural, more organic. You can rotate it and add some uh, ink on top. I'm going again with speckled text just because I promised myself that I will play with a new color today. Now I'm going to uh, move my way towards the bottom, adding clouds and you really don't need to add too much ink here. The lighter the better. I am not pressing my brush at all. I'm just adding color very lightly with soft movements. And now my background is ready. To embellish this one, I'm going to use these balloons. These come from a lovely new stamp set by Alte New, which I think is very versatile and you can use it so, for so many occasions. This is a layering stamp set, but there are only two layers for each of these balloons. So just by stamping with two different colors, you get these realistic balloons that I think they look just stunning. So I have all three of them ready to go. I just stamped and die cut them with the matching dies. And now I'm using the stamp for the string. And I'm going to stamp all three strings. But this is where I wasn't careful. Now I'm using Jet Black Pigment Ink from the Mixed Media Collection. It takes some time to dry and this is where I touch that. But there is always a way to save your panel, usually by sticking on top your sentiment or adding a few gems where the boo-boos are. I'm going to stick this panel on top of my card base and I went with navy blue for that. I also scattered a few gems on the sky just for some extra sparkle and I absolutely love the look of those balloons. And now let's take a quick look on all the four cards that I made for today using stencils from the latest collection. This video is part of a blog hop, make sure to visit my blog, you will find the link down below in the description area if you are watching on YouTube. There is lots of inspiration along the blog hop as well as many giveaways. So here are some close-up photos on all the four cards that I made for today. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Don't forget you will find links to everything I used down below in the description area. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.